This hole was made in the canoe by dragging it over the seawall multiple times. And it's not a fiberglass canoe, it's plastic. It's made out of high density polyethylene. And if I tried to fiberglass a patch over this, it wouldn't stick to this plastic. And there are some techniques where I could maybe make it work. But high density polyethylene is a weldable plastic. So I'm going to get some other high density polyethylene in the form of like the ends that get cut off of zip ties and I'll try and weld this crack shut. I was told that this canoe should just be used as a planter because there were some little cracks starting on the sides too which really don't get to the water line. I've used it quite a bit with them although they could be welded up as well. I've got a couple of ends from zip ties. I got a piece of metal screen, something to cut the screen, and I got the cheapest plastic welding kit you could get. Um, the ones that use air, hot air, surprisingly work a lot better and make a nicer looking weld. So the kit comes with some screen if you don't already have a piece of old window screen. And this is like the crappiest plastic welder. It just has this triangle tip on a soldering iron. Good ones will have a tube attached here where you feed the plastic in underneath this but like I said this is like the crappiest one and a brush to clean the area and I don't know oh yeah a thing to set your iron down on some plastic since I have the brush I'll scrape any oxide or any loose stuff off. Well, it can melt plastic. get around the other side so the camera has a better view. much as I can, I try to smear some of the base material up onto the weld. And I know I need to keep the heat on this zip tie a while to try to get it to melt the base material underneath. melt the other side a bit first. Oh yeah, that didn't work out so good. I made a dent right there.
So I'm going to go back and put a little bit more in where I kind of screwed up and pushed through. So yeah, I can get it soft with the heat and then just sort of slide it or smear it into place. Anything that you can do to get the two materials to mix together at the boundary is a good thing. I find this really interesting because my dinghy is made out of the same material. So if I was to, it's pretty tough stuff, but if I was to get a hole in it by like dragging it over rocks or something, the same technique would be used to fix that. And I am taking some time to smooth the edges because this is just the first part of the repair. So the next step uses the metallic screen. And this will give some strength to the repair the same way that glass cloth gives some strength to fiberglass. And at first, I'm just going to work my way along, trying to melt the screen into the base material. And if I do this, the screen wants to bounce up, right? So. If I work my way along like this, I'm still holding down the next piece of screen while the first piece can freeze into position. Okay, same story working my way along the other side. All right, now that the screen is tacked down, all the way around the edge. We go back and we weld, weld more plastic in to fill in. Basically embedding the screen within the plastic.
smushing the molten plastic through the screen and covering the screen over. And you're not melting the top of the zip tie. You're trying to get the plastic to melt all the way down to the bottom. So you have to be patient. It takes a while because the plastic is an insulator. And that's it. All those white zip ties are now part of the boat. Let me see what else I've got to melt. I'd save more ends of zip ties. Although I didn't have any more of the big ones. All right, that's it. Oh yeah, and now um, the different color will help you see how I'm actually mixing the different plastics together. And you can see how the black is spreading out past where the zip tie was. I'm going to try and do a little bit of it one-handed so I can get some close-up video of it. See, I'm just melting the plastic and smearing it around. The goal really is to get it to mix with the base plastic and whatever other plastic weld I've put in place here. Mixing is the most important thing to get it to stay. It's like welding metal. 
really want it to mix with the base metal. So it's not just a surface patch, but actually becomes an integral part of the base material. And I'm trying to heat up an area around it as well so I can smear it into that area and have it melt into the other plastic that's there and then just try to smooth it out as best I can it's never gonna look like new but it won't leak and I can paddle it around and have a canoe instead of a planter or something to send to the landfill. So I guess the next thing to do is to see whether it holds water and, and paddle it around and enjoy using it as a boat. This little lizard has come to my plastic weld repair. And he's eating the ants that are confused because I welded shut the opening that they were going in. And now I torture test the repair. I'm dragging the canoe around. 